This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex, and this is The Ramble. We go until midnight tonight from the East Coast of the United States. Your actual time around the world may vary. Okay? All right. Okay. So you should know that. Oh, boy. Ah, having a cup of coffee. Oh, look. You see here? Look. My, the inner part of my cup is green, you see here? And uh, when, I, when I hold it like this, it's uh, empty. <laughs> but anyway, mm. Mm. but if I, 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 I'll, I won't use the green cup again. No, I can't do that, that wouldn't be right. Anyway, it's time, uh, let's see, it's on, it's every Wednesday, once a week, once every other week, and then on Thursdays every other week. It's uh, time for us to uh, check in with our uh, old pal, and let's see if we can, uh, uh, oh, i got to do something first. I, you know, always on Mondays, I'm fablungent. I don't do things right. Let me just move this down here. Oh, boy. Don't, I don't have enough room on this desk anymore. That's the problem. Let me admit Phil Meyer, and then uh, we'll, uh, and his, uh, you should bring your brother on sometime. Uh, your brother is known as Muck. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I noticed your cup runneth over. What? Do you, oh, my cup? Yes, it doth, <laughs> doth runneth over. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should. Oh, mm -hmm. it's, it's been a crazy week. How's it been for you? Uh, a crazy week? Why has it been a crazy week? Has it been a crazy week for you? No, no. My, my weeks are actually kind of pleasant lately. But, uh, you know, the, uh, it's been a crazy week for the Supreme Court justices and all of that well, stuff, which not, we can talk a, about later. It's not, a, but, it's not a, a bad time for the Supreme Court. How's a bad time for the Supreme Court justices? They've got a job for life. They shouldn't have any other problems, okay? Well, they're not supposed to be intimidated. They're not supposed to be, uh, uh, they're not supposed to protest like that. Oh, we aren't supposed to protest the Supreme Court, Phil? Uh, why not? Not, why not if they're trying to they're just influence a decision they're trying to they're trying to say how they how the, how the the public feels about this how come all the women that are in front of Kavanaugh's house are ugly you're sexist yes if they but were that I, if, they, if, they, if they were that ugly they wouldn't have gotten pregnant they didn't get pregnant they they just you know, uh, they pay them, I think, to go there. No, they don't. Uh, no, they don't pay them. People are upset by this. But if you want to argue, make the argument, they're getting a little upset too early over this. Yeah, I would. That's I, I would go along with that argument. I think that uh, the kind of outrage that they're ex expressing now, they probably should wait until the decision comes out because it might turn out to be an entirely different decision. Do you yeah. think that their protests will influence the soups one way or another? I well, I think the fact that this thing was uh, was leaked, uh, uh, Roberts may actually change his opinion because of it. Y yes, yes. By the way, I'm glitching tonight. On yeah, yeah. But so did you. So yeah. Oh, well, maybe it's lightning. I don't know. It's just uh, Zoom. They updated Zoom, so they probably put a glitch in it just yeah. to make it more interesting. Right, no, but it... you know, I mean, um, uh, I, I think uh, Roberts could very well change his opinion. We don't know what his opinion is. All we got was uh, Alito's opinion. That's all. Right. And and he was quoting as his source for his opinion. The a, leaker. Uh, no. <laughs> A, uh, uh, a, what do you call it, a uh, um, person from, uh, I think it was 1400. Really? Who, who said that you should not legalize abortion. He was actually quoting that. And, and the, uh, this person also believed that you should 
probably execute women who cheat on their husbands and stuff like that. He was not one of what we would call a great jurist and hardly an American and hardly of this century. And he quoted him as his source for his reasoning. Well, let me ask you something. Well, wait a minute. How do you feel about that? Well, did they have abortions in 1400? I guess they did. Well, you know, I don't, I don't think they did. You know, uh, I uh, saw a post by uh, Larry Brown that says he was going to make an investment in hangers. And, you know, as a kid growing up in the early 60s, uh, my parents used to talk about an uncle. Uh, and that guy was known as the Hanger King of New Jersey. So I, I think he'll be pretty busy. You know, uh, the well, hanger. This is thing. not funny, Phil. Well, you know, no, it this doesn't is not have to be. Th- you did you pay me to be funny? No. Okay, then you did. You got what you paid for. I paid you to be <laughs> serious. Okay. Well, the hanger king in New Jersey. Uh, you know, I I think that uh, you know early in the term, maybe the first fifteen weeks. Uh, uh, also, rape, incest. Uh, that and that type of thing, maybe not euthanasia, but uh, you know, you don't want to euthanize uh, kids just because maybe they have some issues. Uh, well, what is it? Um, you know, when they uh, some of them have learning disabilities or, or things well, you, like that. But you can't you can't tell that in advance. Uh, they can do uh, no. DNA. No, they, they. But let's say, let's say you knew your kid was going to be horribly deformed. Yeah. Would you want well, an abortion? Uh, a lot of times that takes care of itself. No, on its no, own. but forget about it. It hasn't taken care of itself. You're now in your 15th week. You find out from, uh, because they couldn't tell earlier, that your child is going to be terribly deformed. What are you going to do? Well, you know, I... Uh, You're I really was, looking for a weaselly I, answer on this, and well, there isn't No, 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 no. I was faced with something like this. Uh, during the uh, 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 my ex's first ter- uh, first pregnancy, at six months, uh, she had a uh, miscarriage, mm-hmm. and uh, the baby had some uh, genetic or some right. some sort of issues. Right. And okay. I said to myself at the time, because I didn't have to make a decision to abort, uh, it, it happened naturally. But I, you know, I said at the time, you know, I, life is tough enough. You know, uh, to, to, to put a, a young uh, life out there that uh, would have to go through okay, all of this okay. difficulty. But, but, it, the, but that's not going to be in a lot of these states now where they're outlawing abortion. That's not an excuse. No, uh, it's not. And I wouldn't have used it as an excuse. It happened naturally. I didn't know it was going to happen. If you knew that that child was going to have a, a horrible situation for all of its life, at, at the life. point that it was delivered early, um, the uh, and then they told me it was stillborn. Uh, I was relieved, but uh, I hadn't. It, nothing had crossed my mind to uh, to do something that would have ended the life uh, on, on purpose. Well, then you're really very selfish. Well, no, I, it's just the reality well, of what, it is what, you, that you, you want a child to spend all of his life. I didn't have to make that decision, luckily. No, I'm but. saying, but if, let's say you didn't make that, that didn't happen, and the baby was born and lived, I mean, you would probably to this day be taking care of that child. Yes, uh, that's true. And that child would not have any real life like you and I are privileged to have. Not not necessarily. Phil, come no, on. Uh, it, it you know, be, I, I see kids... I see kids with muscular dystrophy. No, I see kids different. with that's terrible fall. That's different, Phil. They oh, they either overcome those things or they deal with them. We're talking about severe disabilities, mentally, for instance. Suppose the kid is a microcephalic, as an example. I mean, come on, you know, you're being ridiculous on this. You're trying to argue against it. The fact but is, do you know? And the bottom know line, the bottom line is, you have no say so in it. No, I, I had no say so uh, because this is a woman's decision to make for herself. Not necessarily. This, in this case, there was two parents, 
And uh, still, yeah. still, she has to have that baby. And if for some reason, and I'm not saying you're this kind of person, but you know, you can always leave town. She always has to have that baby. Unless she leaves town first. You know, so it should be her decision. And in some cases, you know, there are families that don't, they have two kids already. They don't want a third because they can barely afford the two that they have, especially in today's uh, uh, financial situation. And so they would like to get an abortion because they don't feel they want to bring another kid into the family. Uh, I think that's a perfectly well, decent excuse. Uh, you know, when I was uh, 30, uh, when I was 50, I was dating a 37 year old mm -hmm. and I didn't want to have another family. Yeah. So I got a vasectomy. Uh, and well, well good you for know. you, Phil, but we're not talking about that. Uh, well, I, you know, if you don't want to bring and, other kids and into so the they world, like to get an abortion because they don't really want to bring another kid right, into the family. I got to kill uh, I think the that's audio a perfectly well, decent excuse. That's a, refu a, a rerun, folks. I, oh, what are you doing? Going to the Jeff School of? Uh, I, I went to the browser, and the browser had been reset earlier, and I didn't. Mm -hmm. So forget it. You know. All right. I'm See, happy. anybody can do that. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, what all I'm saying, Phil, is you know that that this is a decision for women to make for themselves, basically. Uh, no, not when there's a family involved. No. No, you know, she has to have that baby. She has to put her health in jeopardy, okay? She has to have that baby and to assume that you will always be there as the father. Hey, there's, you know, half half of the families that are out there end in divorce. But Phil, then, and, uh, then in that case, if I were a woman, I would not want to have a, a pre uh, let's say I got pregnant by somebody that I didn't like you know, that I didn't want to have in my life, that I didn't want to have this common bond with for the rest of my life. So they, I, they I have should, I should weeks. have, I should have, no, they have, they have in uh, Texas, Texas, I believe it's six weeks. Yeah, and you sometimes, may, you sometimes don't even know you're pregnant till about four or five weeks. Yeah, uh, well, there's, there's also, what's that plan B pill? Uh, no, you're not allowed to take that in Texas. Why? Because you're not allowed to. Oh. So you go to Oklahoma and you get it. No, if you go to Oklahoma, in some of these states where it's illegal now to have an abortion, if you go to another state and get an abortion, you can be considered committing a crime. Well, uh, that's, that's, uh, that may be. And that may I mean, be but, the but law the, of the land. But the person, the people that are going to be impacted by this are simply women. The men aren't going to be impacted by it. Of course they are. You, you not No, they're men. not. No, they're not. Well, there's a lot of suppose, men that suppose, step up to the plate. Suppose I, I, I had, a, 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 my wife got pregnant. We already had two kids. We don't want to have a third one because we can't afford it. We can take care of two adequately, but not a third. Uh, Am I supposed to be stuck with this? Is she supposed to be stuck with this because you got a fucking moron governor in Texas? Look, there's lines of people that want to adopt babies. It's harder to get a five-year-old, seven-year-old, 11-year-old adopted, but yeah. everybody who wants to adopt wants to adopt a baby. And, yeah. uh, and these uh, adoptive parents even mm. will pay for the health care and uh, and uh, the expenses that uh, a single mom or even a, a, a family uh, might incur through the birth of that baby. And Phil, uh, Phil you know, you're making a rather specious argument. To begin with, yeah. you're a man, so shut the fuck up. And I'm a man, I should shut the fuck up on this. Well, how do you know I don't claim German Shepherd? What? Yeah, well, some people claim women, some people claim man. Uh, how do you know what my pronoun is? It's German Shepherd, you know, uh, oh, okay. or it could be French Poodle. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, hey, you said you're a man. I, I maybe. Yeah. No, I'm German Shepherd. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anyway, I just I I I find your position completely well untenable, you know, and it's 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 it, it, you're a male. Males should not make this decision. 
I think that people, I'm a person, mm -hmm. and I think people should take responsibility for their actions and for the uh, consequences of their actions. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not the child's fault that the parents couldn't handle the situation and uh, couldn't afford, didn't want, or it was inconvenient for them to, mm -hmm. uh, to have a child. Yeah, yeah. You well, know, I mean, oh, geez, it's inconvenient. It's expensive. Well, you know, this is life. And, uh, you know, sometimes you Phil, do think Phil, and there's consequences. I, 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 as, a, as, a, as a person who well, I've never had any kids, but if, if I were to have kids, I would want to be able to raise them. You know, yeah. I, always, no, I know that I always use birth control for that reason. I didn't know that I had a secure enough life that I wanted to bring somebody else into it, you know. So, I yeah. mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Excuse me, I'm just going over to get some stuff here that I forgot sure. to get earlier. Because I, I had a lot of problems before I came on tonight. It had nothing yeah. to do with the show itself. It yeah. had to do with getting the show on itself. It was something else altogether. Oh. But anyway. Okay, you don't want to share that, right? No, it's nothing. No, it had to do with the sports show. I, uh, oh. the, the guy wanted to post it. I didn't have my... Uh, my remote PC up correctly, and he couldn't do it. So I was working oh. to find him, and I, I found out I, I've never had the phone number of the guy who does our sports show. Oh, yeah, probably so, called Damien. So I couldn't call him. What? Called Damien. I wrote Damien, yeah, to get his phone number. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so all I'm saying, Phil, is that uh, uh, if you want to make the argument that we should wait probably until this is uh, codified, then okay, I would I would go along with that argument because all we know is what Alito felt. We don't know what the rest felt. They said, well, there are enough people there to do it. No, not yet. Okay, yeah. don't 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 yeah. be too surprised if one of the people you expect is going to go for overdoing o overthrowing Roe versus Wade uh, that um, uh, they voted the other way. You know, well, it I, happens I, a lot of times. I heard three justices that were appointed by Trump and uh, three, yeah, uh, and yeah. Uh, two, yeah, three justices. three justices. And they all said that uh, Roe versus Wade is the law of the land. Now, uh, Alito wasn't one of them, but the other well, three. Alito was, uh, who, who put Alito in? I think it was, uh, was it Bush? Probably. I think he was a Bush appointee. Yeah. Yeah, uh, George uh, W. Yeah, so it happened a long time. Oh, no, no, he was Kennedy was George W. The George, no, what do you mean George W? Uh, the, the son. I, there's H.W. and there's W. Yeah, Herbert Walker Bush. Yeah. And there's yeah. Uh, George W. Bush. That's a, the, right. the second Bush who became right. president. Right. I think he put in, um, I think he put in Kennedy. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, I, I don't remember which one put it in Alito. It probably could have been George Herbert Walker Bush, but anyway, uh, forget about it. Anyway, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I I just think that uh, people should be responsible for the things that they do in life, and having an easy out or uh, saying that it's my body, it's my right. Phil, when Phil, you Phil, make yes, you do no, an action, it's your body, and it is your right. It's it's also the child's right. To it's life. against the law, you know. Uh, Charlie Wallace has said it, and uh, it's it's kind of true that um, you know the, there there is a am amendment against slavery, and this is enslaving a woman to do something she doesn't want to do. But she her action created the situation. It's not that the situation. What's her her, her, her action? How about the man's action? their action created uh this situation oh, so you're, you're one and of these kind of people slavery that, is so, you you so take you, somebody so you believe that they should suffer no well they i believe they're that they are, they that there's to. enough families that want to adopt especially a baby and i believe you know i've a suffered lot of people, I, I i had a girlfriend who got pregnant had a kid mm -hmm. uh, when i was 18 19 years old mm -hmm. and to this day it has affected me Yes. Uh, to this day. If the abortion were available, it probably wouldn't be affecting me to this day. Uh, would you have felt that an abortion would have been justified? 
Well, in those days, it wasn't to be even considered, although we did check it out, the girl mm -hmm. and I. We were checking it out. Uh, and uh, then we decided we would get married, but we went down to San Jose and then decided not to get married. One, I, It's too long a story to get into, but sure. the fact is that to this day, it still haunts me. No, I, I, I could understand. Okay, and that now, could... Especially now when i don't want other a, people to have to go through what i went through let me ask I would you this. like them you, to have options yeah you you did a dna test uh and your second wife ronnie did a dna test and she found a son that she had put up for adoption uh now your dna test did it show no. the possibility no. that uh, no. no you had a child out no. there no uh, you know because by this time that child may be a would have probably been a father or a grandfather. I figure he's Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, no, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. He doesn't have your talent. Oh, good. very good. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Very, very nice of you. I yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah. But, uh, I thought that my, uh, not to get off of this subject, but I thought that my Sirius Satellite um, $5 a month deal was up at yesterday or today. And I called them and I said, I want to cancel my subscription. And they went through a whole big deal. What's your phone number? What's your email address? And the guy's reading me the email address back, uh, you know, uh, uh, echo tango yucca i said come on you, you know the way you're reading this email address to me you, you're you're giving me you're giving me uh, 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 a stomach yeah. ache. yeah 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 uh i said just put a supervisor on that speak you know that speaks current you know fluent english mm -hmm. and he says well i can help you and then all of a sudden they find your account mysteriously uh you know when you tell them look i don't want to talk to you anymore and so he finds the account and he says it's not up until november and so uh, we'll see if they start billing me uh, the 15 bucks a month. Well, who cares? Like yeah. Crappy well, outfit. And, yeah. And, yeah. Well, you talk about Howard Stern. I can't even hear Howard Stern on my $5 a month thing. They don't get I don't get it. You don't get it for the $5 oh. deal? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know what you got to do to get it. And I'm not willing to pay any more. Yeah. Well, but, you know, is, is, do you want Howard Stern that badly? No. I didn't. I and didn't even, watch him or he, listen to him. He, when I could get even him for if free. he was available to you, would you listen to him? No. Okay. I, I think, so. you know, I think his show is uh, uh, inane and uh, juvenile, and uh, you know, I, I didn't listen to it when I could get it for and free. You used to listen to my show? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> you know, uh, when you moved to the Bay Area, mm -hmm. I used to get up. 6 a.m. and the alarm would go off and the most obnoxious station that I could put on the alarm was KMEL. And one morning I, I hear this is Alex Bennett. And I called you at the station and I says, this the same Alex Bennett that was in New York. And you said, yeah, come on down. Well, you see what you got. But uh, <laughs> yes, I got a friend for life, folks. Yeah. Well, that's uh, kind of the way it worked out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's been a, a thread that has gone through my life for uh, many, many years. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Um, and so uh, is, hmm? uh, Oh, uh, I, I don't know. If you want to talk about Ukraine, you want to talk to, about the $40 billion that uh, they're saying Bible verses over that they gave to Ukraine, but uh, women can't get baby formula, and uh, the, the government is telling them to uh, water it down. And, uh, you, know, you know, we have all these shortages and things like that. And I agree that Ukraine needs our help. But, uh, they, you know, they're so fast to stand up and help Ukraine, but they're not helping veterans living on the street, homeless, uh, uh, people that are living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, you know, it's just it just seems like, you know, why are they picking these deals? You know, why are they doing this? That, well, uh, one of the reasons why, Phil, uh, is that uh, the two don't have anything to do with each other. You know, no. when you're saying, it, you know, uh, the it's very it's funny, but I would hate to say that the reason that a lot of these things aren't being taken care of is because 
the Republicans are stonewalling things that would take care of those problems. You know, uh, Trump got uh, much better health care for veterans, got the uh, ability for them to go to any doctor and not have to wait through the bureaucracy of the VA. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, and I'm not standing up for Republicans. I, you know, I think they are all a bunch of pigs, uh, the Democrats and the Republicans. And I think that, uh, you know, what's happening uh, with this uh, this leak and the abortion thing is just another way of deflecting the message that uh, nobody inflation n- high listen. listen. That, so you're saying Alito did it to no as a Alito wasn't the one that leaked it. Yes, he was. But, yes, he was. He's been uh, yes, identified. The, He's been identified as the person who did it. Well, oh, that's interesting. Why would he do that? Well, I have no idea. Maybe he wants to see how he how he defers to uh, fourteen hundred scholars. You well, know? Uh, you know, sometimes uh, people quote Socrates and and Homer. And well, that wasn't the case here. Go back and watch. Did you read the decision? No, go no. read it. It's online. Read it. Well, I I just see this. As an opportunity, well, Phil, that, don't talk about it unless you've read the it. The Biden administration is using no, to deflect no, no, uh, what yeah. the terrible story is uh, of his uh, of his administration, which is gas prices, uh, shortages, inflation. Gas prices and, are his fault. Uh, yeah. How's that? Absolutely. How's that? Well, uh, on the gas prices, he uh, intentionally raised prices of gas by cutting out uh, domestic production so that people would start using uh, green energy and, uh, uh, and, and electric plug-in cars. I would, and lo- I would also, love for you to pro- prove that. On, on it, uh, the inflation was just a, well, yeah, you'd love for me to prove it, but you can't disprove it either. And uh, so, and, and as far as uh, the uh, the inflation that is a reaction to what he did, mm-hmm. and the raise in interest rates is a desperate attempt to try to curb inflation because it, where have it's, you heard all this interest. crap? Where do I hear it? It's yeah. just obvious. You just look out the window. You can't see that. You know that that uh, you know the, that the Biden administration is just tell me just you gonna, cover up. No, I, I'm not. But I'm not going to say that he is he is uh, doing all this to promote green energy. Well, he started it that way. No, I, he, I, he's what's he, done, what's he done for green energy, Phil? Well, you know, he's, he's what's uh, he done for green energy. Okay. He's, he cut thousands of leases, uh, uh and, uh, made it, uh, it, with all sorts of regulations. Tell so me that one of those leases. Pump. Tell me huh? one of those leases that he did away with. Uh, there was uh, one for uh, twenty four hundred dollars a month on Seventh Avenue, uh, and one hundred sixty. You had a lease. I mean, you said one of those leases. I don't know. I'm in. I'm no. not in the no. What you're uh, doing petrochemical is you're spout, you're, business. You're spouting. I don't off, have. You I don't have an oil in, well. You, you're spouting off some information that you yeah. saw on OAN. No, you know? I don't get OAN. But okay, on the other well, hand, you do. But you do get Newsmax, don't you? No, I don't get that you either. Oh, liar. No, you have to subscribe to no, it. No, you don't. I don't subscribe to it. Oh, but I did subscribe to something, and uh, I feel like a thief. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, so tell anyway, me now. I I don't want any but, more of your other crap. Okay, since since <laughs> I don't, I'm not in the petrochemical business. I can't answer that question, but it looks pretty obvious to me that that's what's going on, just based on the okay. uh, actions that have been taken. Oh, okay. Now, as far as uh, thievery, uh, I uh, I signed up. Yeah, I signed up for the YouTube commercial free. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. now when I watch the YouTube without the commercials, I feel like I'm ripping off the people that have uh, created the content. And uh, it it just it doesn't feel right. No, you're not. Actually, how do they get that money that? Uh, whatever, to begin, with, to begin month, with, you're allowed to run commercials on your YouTube shows, which you can go out and sell and have people pay for. Okay. Right, but if I'm not, I'm not getting those commercials. I believe, and I'm, I may be mistaken, but we do get a certain payment for people who just watch us when they have commercial free, when they have a yeah. subscription. Yeah. 
Oh, because, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm saying to myself, what am I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm ripping off these people that are creating this content and trying to make a, some sort of a living or a YouTube gig. Yeah. By well, if it the, weren't for that money coming in, I wouldn't be able to survive. I know that two hundred dollars goes a long way. It's just that it's about uh, twenty five. Some... It's about twenty five dollars a month, so it's about oh, three hundred well, a year. About yeah, three hundred a year. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, you know that's better than a kick in the ass. You'll be able to eat. And, and I need more people, actually. In fact, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> smash the button. <laughs> smash the uh, smash the uh, subscribe button so that we, you know, we get some su subscribers. I could use another couple of thousand. You know. Well, you know, I noticed now that I'm not having to push the button to skip all the time that the um, that the, a lot of people have sponsors and they'll spend a good part of their video just plugging their sponsors. Uh, but usually about a minute. And that's it. You yeah. know, you're, you're over overstating it. You know, yeah, well, it didn't it didn't feel as long when I uh, was watching, the, you know, one or two commercials. Uh, during, prior, and after the uh, the thing, and I thought, you know, hey, here I would be supporting those people a little bit and uh, in their endeavor. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I felt like I was ripping them off now. But yeah. um, so, listen, yeah. can you stick around? Of course, of course, you'll stick around. Yeah, let me uh, bring in Alan here. Alan's the only other person here tonight. Yeah, yeah, so far, Alan's a person. It, it, I thought he was a zygote. Just look out the window and you can see that Biden's fucking everything up. Boy, yeah. what a, what a, that's a statement from somebody that knows zero about the economy. Oh, and and you and you know, I know a lot well, more about I mean, it. Than you, uh, you, yeah, I follow yeah, it. Yeah, if I mean, I'm going to quote something, I'm going to have evidence somewhere. Even even on your on your Republican news, yeah. you didn't even have evidence. You're, hey. Most of your facts are coded in brown. Because yeah. you're pulling well, them out of your yeah. ass. Well, uh, you right. know, Alan is is unemployed. Uh, I'm retired. <laughs> Same you're, thing. You're just envious. <laughs> yeah. See, even Alex works. You call this His working. eyes lit up when you said that, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he wants to make sure the operation worked. So mm. what do we got tonight, uh, Big Al, the kitty's pal? Well, well I don't know. I have a, I have a, I, I, a little bit. It, it, it's, uh, if, since nobody's calling, I have a piece of a list that I have here that I think you might find enjoyable. Okay. All right. You know, we've talked about uh, non-binary and so on and what it means. So I went, I looked it up, and what I got was what kinds of non-binary genders currently exist. You ready? Was German Shepherd on it? I, I, I think it might be here. Just hold <laughs> on, you know. Uh, but this, these are non-binary uh, genders. All right? Donald uh, Trump's uh, the first uh, one. Okay, hold on a second. Here comes, uh, here comes uh, Jeffrey. Okay, uh -huh. let's let him come in here. And uh, you know, I, I bet he, do you have your audio? Your audio's on, I think, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Big yeah. Al, the oh, 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 turn off, turn your, off the um, browser. Browser. <laughs> turn off the browser. Okay. So, you ready for non-binary genders? Slow yeah. but done. This is a list of non-binary genders. A gender that's having no gender or being genderless. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's for starters. Androgyne, androgynine, I guess is what. Yeah, androgynous. Identifying somewhere in between man and woman. Okay, big ender. Having two gender identities, either at the same time or interchangeably. Okay. Demi boy. Uh, that's per partially, but not completely, identifying as a man, boy, or masculine person. Demi -gen gender, having partial connection with one gender, male, female, or other. Dem girl, or that girl probably should be instead of dem girl. 
Them girl, partially but not completely identifying as a woman, girl, or feminine person. How about uh, Demi Girl? Oh, yeah, that was Demi Girl. Okay. How about Demi Toss? NB, E N B Y, a slang mm -hmm. term to refer to non binary person. Not all binary, non binary people identify with this term. Gender fluid, moving between two or more gender identities at different times in different circumstances. A gender queer, a non-normative or queer gender having no exclusive connection to any gender. Is any of this making sense to you? No. no. Are you describing <laughs> Phil here? I mean, do they have do they have pronouns or uh, anything no. like that? Multigender, having more than one gender. Neutrals, neutral or newly uh, or, or null gender, similar to a gender. Boy, this is exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, how about non-binary? Jeff's got to sit, sit around all day and come up with this. Non-binary, an umbrella term to describe people whose gender is neither man or woman, can also be used as an individual gender identity for someone who is neither woman or man but does not identify further. Jeff had his hand up. Jeff had his hand up. Yes, there. Jeff. According to my 30-year-old, I'm not allowed to mention any of those things. Why not? Because I might insult him. <laughs> or his girlfriends, or somebody, or my mother. Who the heck knows? <laughs> Pan gender, having many or all, all genders within one's culture. Trans feminine or trans femme, a person assigned male at birth who identifies with a feminine gender but does not necessarily identify as a woman. I'll be right back. I got something for you. What, am I boring you? <laughs> You're going to change? <laughs> Transmasculine or transmac, a person assigned female at birth who identifies with a masculine gender but does not necessarily identify as a man. Bill just went to get a certificate to prove that he's that person. Yeah, uh, th that's it. But isn't that amazing? Wow. Isn't that in interesting? Um, sure. Uh, but uh, that's, and I understand they're close to 50 of these. Wow. But uh, th that was only a handful of them. Not yeah. enough. Hmm? Yeah. Well, why now? What is this with your? What is this? Your son? Or your? Oh, my son. Yeah, yeah. he's very critical about these things. Really? So, he, he, how does he want to be referred to? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? By his name when you're writing uh, a check, Billy. right, Jeff? I mean, <laughs> would you write Mister? Would you write what? I guess. I would just call him Andrew. That's all. I don't know. Well, that's that's where these pronouns come in. Some people want to be called he, she, or uh, she, he, or uh, you know, the, all these pronouns. And I, mm -hmm. I uh, I'm doing something where uh, you know it's important to refer to the pronoun uh, to, to some people. I, I don't understand those things either. Yeah, I don't understand it either. I think they came well, up here, with those, and well, this is this is not sarcasm. <laughs> I think they came up with those for people well, that are lesbian or transgender or whatever. Here, so it they says, can identify. here it says pronouns in relation to gender identity are nouns that refer to another individual in place of their name in the third person. Traditionally, a woman would be referred to as she or her, and a man would be referred with he or and him. For instance, when introducing herself, a woman might say, I use she, her pronouns. Some, but not all, nine bi binary people may choose to continue using the pronouns associated with their assigned gender at birth. Other non binary per people commonly use they, them as the pronoun. What did Bob Dole say? Bob Dole says he always talked in the third person. Maybe he was a lesbian. Hell, it says, I think I'm non binary. Do I have to use they or them pronouns? No, you can use any pronoun or combination pronouns you like. In addition to she, her, he, him, and they, them pronouns, there are other pronouns which include but are not limited to 
ze her ze zem hi heim co cause hmm. watching jeff roll his eyes is funny <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, 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 I think of the same remember. thing. Fifty years ago, I'm just saying all this to be informative, folks. Just to, to let me give you my fifty-year yeah. problem. Mm -hmm. Am I sounding too old if I, I say this sounds like a piece of crap to me? Yes. <laughs> I mean, well, the whole thing is crap. But uh, Jeff was saying fifty years ago. Fifty you know, years ago, I, I go to this party with a lady. Who actually I, was my first uh, wife, but anyway, this lady was and, my and first the party wife. was at our uncle's house, mm -hmm. and I said to her, "Your your uncle is a gay guy." She goes, "How do you know that?" You were talking about happy. <laughs> I said they sleep in the same bed. It's only bedroom. It's only one bed in the, in the whole place. Wow. That wow. was like, that's that's when I expressed. I say this. I say and this. I was in trouble for that already. I say this tongue in cheek. Maybe because they're Jewish and can only afford one bed. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think so because he wasn't, the uncle was Jewish, but the other guy was not oh well when we have four jews on the show right now hmm. hey uh i got my candidate statement for uh california uh, election today mm -hmm. and i was looking at uh under the governor's race there's this uh woman uh her name is uh, maria dawson she has no party affiliation mm -hmm. and her statement was f all politicians that they printed this in the candidate statement f all politicians wow and then there was this one other guy uh, uh he that was that was interesting uh i i folded it over now i can't find it he said uh his his qualifications was uh, or uh, their qualifications was who's a, le a lesbian that was that was the total qualification for governor what are you talking about uh, i'm talking about the candidate statements that came in today's mail but since you use a p.o box you didn't get this you know i got it yesterday you're you're on the back list yeah alex do you know the comedian named andy dick yes yeah he was arrested today well, in what's, southern what's, california what's new for andy dick yeah. I, I don't know one but it just came across the news andy dick arrested on suspicion of sexual battery felony sexual battery in a park in Orange County, California. Hmm. Well, Andy Dick did. has had nothing but problems for most of his career really? in that mm -hmm. way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know what the charge, the, the charge is a rather nebulous charge. It could apply to any number of things. So until we hear about the complete story. He could have been playing with himself in the men's bathroom yeah, and, yeah. and somebody took offense to that. I mean, uh, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. That's all I know is what just came across the news. Yeah. I mean, if I started jerking off right here, would that be considered uh, um, uh, um, horrible or just disgusting? Uh, it's pornography. Or just disgusting. It, yeah. It's pornography, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, yeah. hardly anybody listening tonight. Har nobody yeah. is writing. Only one person did. What's going on? What, Wednesday is usually a popular night. Brian's usually here, and mm -hmm. Tony's here to talk about mm -hmm. his prostate. And, uh, let's see. Fun? Charlie had baseball or softball today, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the Larry Flint's Hustler Club. Mm -hmm. oh, He's okay. dead. Yeah, well. I figured since Alex was talking about jerking off, I... By the way, the, Dave Belletti just wrote me and said, KMEL station that I used to work at, San Francisco, has been designated the station of the year for 2022 by the Bay Area Broadcast Legends California Historical Radio Society. Uh, that's wonderful, David, except for the fact that eventually, since the, uh, the uh, 
the Hall of Fame has been in existence for what, close to 20 years now, something like that? Please. Eventually, they'll get, a, oh, uh, they'll get around to every radio station <laughs> in the Bay Area. But isn't it a, a hip-hop yeah. radio station now or something to that effect? I don't know what it is. I don't even I, know I if the call letters them. even exist anymore. Yeah, I think they exist, and I think they're in the same place, but yeah. uh, uh, I, I, it's not the same kind of music that, yeah. uh, you know, when, when it was at the top of the charts. Well, I actually I, didn't well, know what what my question is that KML went through several iterations of formats. Right. Now, when nope. they say it's been designated Station of the Year by the broadcast legends, is it based upon their old formats or on their no. current format? I guess their no, current it says, format. It says here uh, 106.1 KML. It's a contemporary radio station, but it said the Bay Area is number one for hip hop and R&B. So Phil is right. Yeah, but my question is, are they giving it the award for when it was when it first started out as KML I don't uh, know. because I'll it says the historical it. radio who, who are the legends that they're talking about well I'm no, I'm, 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 I'm in that Hall of Fame no 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 I'm talking about the KML legends or is that did They've they ask designation you? Uh, what no the it, it's the Bay Area broadcast legends which is the mm -hmm. Hall of Fame the California Historical Radio Society I think I don't know you know, but every year when I read that they're finally getting around to somebody they didn't get around to early on, I'm beginning to think less of my participation in the Hall of Fame there. Yeah. You know. Uh, did they bring in Marconi? No. No. <laughs> okay. There's an FM booster in Walnut Creek. I'm looking to see what what what, the, what they won for. I can't find it yet. There's a CB radio station in Arinda. Well, no, no, they won for, they've been designated the station of the year. Wow. Yeah. Why? I because they play hip hop? I think so. You know, shouldn't it have something to do with, if you're saying it, it, the broadcast legends, shouldn't it have something that gives them legendary status? Yeah. Uh, I would think so. Well, you know, like like Alex, like Alex Bennett, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. That, there was a, a couple of people I I read. Uh, I get those uh, texts or or Facebook posts from Barhoff, and uh, somebody just died. Uh, Moen, Bill Moen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he, he died. What was? What did he do? I I remember his name, but uh, Bill Moen. Yeah. What, what did he die of? No, no, no. Oh. What? Where? Where? Bill where Mullen would... was a, a he was a, a, a announcer for. God, I'm trying to remember. K, I, maybe he was originally with K A, a B L. I don't know. Well, yeah, I, they I, had something about K A B L as well. I guess uh, that's off the air now. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, it's I, the iHeart Radio Music Awards, which is what they won recently, May twenty second. No, no, no. But that's not what this is. Oh. Yeah, this is Barhoff. Oh, this is Mark. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Forget it. I'm coming back to the show. Jeff, Jeff is falling asleep when, <laughs> with this conversation. <laughs> I'm not asleep, but... He says, what, what are these radio stations that start with K? Real radio <laughs> stations start with W. <laughs> right? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a great story, since nobody's listening tonight anyway. I mm -hmm. don't understand this. What's Is anything happening out there? Has no. the end of the world begun or something? Uh, it's the glitches that are uh, running across your screen. Uh, I have no are, idea uh, what those glitches are. Forget did it. you go were, out today? They were there Friday yes, night. I, yes, I did go out today. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Took a little really? walk. Took a little walk. Yeah. I, I haven't taken a walk in so long. It was like more like stumbling. Okay, but mm -hmm. but I did it. But um, mm -hmm. uh, years ago, I'm going to tell a story now out of school. Oh, wait a minute. here comes Brian Neary. Uh, let me see mm -hmm. here. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Brian mm -hmm. Neary. Yes. Hello there, Brian. How are you this evening? I'm doing good. How are you? Fine. So anyway, let me tell the story. Uh, and I, I, I years ago, um, every year they used to have the Billboard magazine awards. 
okay? And you <laughs> as a subscriber to or a buyer of Billboard magazine could fill out the thing and send it in, you know, and join in on the vote. Well, I was nominated for, I guess it was disc jockey of the year, because that's the only term they ever came up with, was disc jockey, which I hate. And the radio station, uh, Live 105, for station of the year, okay? So, <laughs> and that would have been Billboard, not the Bammies. And I think, and I think they also had Program Director of the Year. Our guy Richard Stans was nominated, and so on. Okay? That wouldn't have been the Bammies because it was no, a Bay no, Area no. thing. No, no, I'm talking about the Billboard Bill Awards. Billboard okay, Magazine. Okay. Jeez. So anyway, uh, uh, I went, and one day I get a call from somebody, and he says, uh, "I'm, I'm. Don't tell anybody this, but I live up in." Uh, Santa Rosa and that's a hub for all the billboard magazines for the West Coast to come in so I stole a couple of thousand of them <laughs> and he said I filled in your name Camel's name or Live 105's name the program director's name I don't know music director's name and so on and mailed them all in I said Really? I said, don't even tell me about this. I don't even want to know you did this. I don't want, because I don't want anybody to think I encouraged you to do that. Yeah, but how long ago did you mail them off? <laughs> well, anyway, finally, uh, I, I think I'm no longer there. This is when I kind of got let go of the first time. Uh, the awards come in, the winners come in. Live 105 wins. Program director wins, music director wins. Guess who doesn't? <laughs> Me. Wow. Hicks <laughs> was in, huh? Yeah, yeah so apparently uh, there were some more people that were voting for other people a lot in, in that one other category. But, the, but Live 105 won for Station of the Year. And to this day, to this day, they actually believe they legitimately won that. Hmm. Well, I'm here to tell you now they didn't. You know, nice but, story. But I had nothing to do with it. This guy called me up, and he said, "Oh, we're at the same." So I just got. I think he didn't 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 take all the billboards. He just ripped out the ballots out of the issue, and then filled them all out and just mailed them in. But if your name was on all the ones that he filled out for those other people why wouldn't your name have been included in the same ratio well because to... there might have been somebody else i can't remember what disc jockey won that year but that disc jockey might have just had an onslaught of people from around the rest of the country voting for him that amounted to more than this mm -hmm. guy had filled out but it there you get what i'm saying in other words yeah, yeah. but i thought it was funny that you know i thought i was going to win for sure and i didn't yeah uh, who who and you don't know who won it? Wasn't that the guy Gutierrez? Uh, no, from, no, it was nobody. It was nobody in the Bay Area. It was somebody. Oh, really? Another part of the country. Yeah. It's odd that the station would win, uh, the music director would win, yeah, yeah, he would win, but yeah. not you, not me. No, no. So, yeah, I think it was a. Fix. I think this is one of the first times I've told this story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've never told it because I don't want the program director to feel that he didn't really legitimately win it, but he didn't legitimately win it. Well, isn't the way that's the way most of those contests work? They're all yeah. bull, bull pucky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway. You, you left there in 1996, 97? 97, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Are you looking it up? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't even know who you were when he got on the show. <laughs> no, no. I thought you were... Uh, um... He thought you were Terry McGovern. I thought I was Terry McGovern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, we don't see Phil's brother. You mentioned that at the start of the show. I thought you were going to bring up Dan Meyer. No, oh, Muck. Muck and Meyer. Muck and Meyer. <laughs> well, didn't you, didn't you have a, a relative or something that you did as a character on my show? Or no, it was... I, I used to claim that I was um, Bruce Century. Bruce Century. 
and you know you the this uh the show or the station was owned by century broadcasting right and so i made up this guy thaddeus century who was the owner of the station yeah and uh yeah and you were bruce century bruce century yeah and you used to put me on the air with sonia ammonia well, sonia ammonia was uh who, susan was susan yeah right yeah uh, so yeah, you 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 just have us talk to one another. <laughs> no, yeah, I, no wonder. Uh, I don't know where I came up with that name, Sonia Ammonia. You know, it's just, <laughs> it was cute. The, the the marriage was going downhill real quick. Something huh? like that. Hey Brian, you know, is back. He's back from Sweden. Hey, <clears throat> and Lodi, and I'd just like to say when I'm not on the show. I listen to the the replays because it's about an hour and forty five minute drive, so it's nice to hear. Yeah. So I heard the one that Phil was on like Thursday night, I think. I think it was on Thursday night, not Friday night. Yeah. But I heard Friday night. Friday night was really good. Thursday night was hysterical. If you need a good laugh, you need to go back and listen to that one. What what did I Every, what were we doing? With everything someone? from Cinco Tomato, Cinco Tomayo from Phil. <laughs> The blunders, if I was drinking, I would have been pulled over and had a DUI because that and then going into his uh, his daughter's relationship when Alex was grilling them about his daughters. Well, you know, yes. after the fact, it was hysterical. After the fact, I felt guilty about that. Oh, that's so funny. And I'll tell you why I felt guilty, because, you know, I mean, I wasn't privy to what went on in the marriage and. And a lot of times, I have to say this, and I know a lot of women out there are going to be pissed off when I say this, but in divorces, sometimes mm -hmm. one, well, let's put it this way, one person or oh. the other poisons the other mm. in the eyes of the children. Mm. You know, it's not uncommon. And so I don't know that that wasn't what went on in, mm. in Phil's situation. It was the grandmother. Mm. The grandmother? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not that they weren't right about Phil. Or, 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 <laughs> Let, let's not let's not like even Phil. even go there. But the fact is that I felt bad that we had I kind of given him a bad time about it, jokingly, but a bad time well, about was, it. And and it, that, made, it made for great comedy. It, I was yeah. being honest, actually. You know, uh, it was uh, you know all it was. He asked me a question, and I honestly answered it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I I you're a horrible human being, but. Um, uh, I practice. Yeah, and and uh, I tolerate it. So anyway, uh, no, but it, but but I just don't think that something like that happens without perhaps a certain poisoning on the on the other end by whoever, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and you know, I never I never told the kids that it was her idea to get the divorce. I mean, you know. Uh, it, you know, I, I didn't want. Well, if them it wasn't to... her, if it wasn't her idea, it would be mine. So <laughs> you know, uh, or so well, you knew her too. Did, did you I? You guys know? used to go to uh, movie openings. You know, when you needed somebody to drag along, and really? I couldn't go. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I don't even remember. Alex that barely remembers who you are. I don't now barely you remember who you are. There? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was, uh, so I, I never, I really, I felt bad about it. Uh, so I wrote you a note about it, you know. Well, that was kind of you, and uh, I mm -hmm. know you're a sensitive guy. Well, I mean, uh, I, I don't want to bring up something that, may, that might be hurtful for you. No, I, you I don't know, want I to portray you years. as a horrible father when, if you were, then only you should have to live with that. Yeah, well, know? it's been almost, it's been 20 years, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, but these kids know. haven't talked to you. Huh? These kids. Well, one of them sort of does. She has a very high-pressure job, uh, and uh, she's supposedly working 18 hours a day. Uh, I, you know, I, can get like that, you can get that way at McDonald's. Yeah, well, I'd like <laughs> to be able to tell her that it's really not worth it. You know, in, in the long run, it, it just isn't worth it. But, you know, I, I don't get to have those kinds of conversations. Is she married with family? Uh, she's engaged mm. and, uh, with a marriage pretty soon. And uh, since the grandmother's putting on the wedding, I get another hurtful thing, which is I'm not invited. So do, do, Phil, do as I say, but don't do as I do is what you're saying with your daughter. Well, no, I think I, I, every week and say how stressed you are, how many hours you got to work and all that kind of stuff. Well, 
you know, I fixed that too. Um, I know. Well, you use me as your as your uh, sounding board. Well, he he's got the carpet empire. She just has a regular job. No, she doesn't have a regular job. She's got a really good job, better job than me. Really? Yeah, she's uh, she does uh, movie promotion uh, for Amazon. Oh, nice. And she was uh, uh, picked from four thousand applicants for that job. In your business, it's only you and Home Depot. Who else do they pick? Yeah, from? really. But uh, you know, hey, I realize now. You know, life is really too short, and I decided that my business is running so smooth without other salespeople mm-hmm. that I don't think I want other salespeople. So I decided to close on Sundays and Mondays so right. I could have, you know, uh, a little bit of time to myself. I cut the hours uh, and, uh, and my business. But you still cut up. the carpet. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. business is up almost 40%. Ooh, good for you. Since I'm doing all the sales and don't have any salespeople. Biden, it's because of Biden did such a good job. Yeah, I, I'm booked. My installation department is booked through July 19th. So if somebody comes in and wants something installed, the next date is July 20th. So you're thriving under Biden, right? Looks that way. <laughs> Hard to admit. Well, yeah. could be, you know, I mean, you know, usually I'd be, you know, with the other other salespeople there and I was only taking the overflow. I'd be booked three weeks well i'm booked three months and uh you know what i don't get um unemployment is down okay yeah sufficiently down quite a bit Mm -hmm. um and you would think that that would make the inflation not rise but apparently the inflation rises for entirely different reasons than having enough jobs out there uh, you know. It's it's supply chain issues, yeah. Uh, which are, which by the way, can't blame Biden for. You know he does he does I'd not like control to. the the that uh, supply chain. Well, look, uh, what happened was, uh, and yes, you can't blame Biden for this, but uh, they there was sort of a hiatus on home building, for instance, in my industry. So uh, now that people want to buy homes and millennials are starting to buy homes and gen, whatever the generation is, uh, are starting it's to buy gen homes. Saki. Gen Saki. Yeah, Gen Saki. There aren't enough homes, <laughs> new homes. So those people that would have bought a new home are now uh, in the market for a used home. And I, in the last several weeks, decided that I wanted to buy uh, a townhouse. And I bid on three different townhouses, and I got outbid with all cash offers and all, all sorts of stuff because there's so many people running after the same item. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the prices will come down, and, and the, uh, the re- there will be a recession. I, I don't think prices are going to come down in the Bay Area. I think they're going to level off in about a year. Yeah, but I don't think there's going to be as much demand. No, there's more inventory now because uh, interest rates are going up. So yeah, and they're building all these high density apartment. Oh, they're. I don't know what they are. City all around Bart. Everywhere, everywhere they start leveling this block, and all of a sudden it pops up, and I don't know where all these cars are going. Are these uh, multi-family? But you must know about all your employees, right? What? company there all his employees how many employees are there phil seven seven oh, ah, phil. Yeah. talking about um brian. 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 <laughs> oh you're talking about brian well brian you've got hundreds right yeah i had i had i have nobody now but i had uh, over 500 at the time yeah what do you mean you have nobody now i'm an individual contributor now that i'm working on the expansion projects Oh, I see. Okay, but what I'm saying is, people work for your company. Oh yeah. How many yeah. people work for your company? Uh, a few thousand now. A few thousand. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were talking about unemployment uh, and the numbers, and you know where are these people? What's happened is people my age, for instance, uh, are baby boomers, and and even uh, Alan's age, and these baby boom, and I guess Alex is before baby boom, but. Uh, uh, these baby boomers are retiring and there doesn't seem to be p- 
people that are filling their position. You know, my two salespeople that retired, one of them was 65 and the other was 70. And, uh, the, uh, and, and I haven't been able to replace them. Uh, so I believe that there's, there's just people that have exited the, uh, the um, employ, employment market Mm -hmm. And that's why employment uh, is low. Uh, you know, there isn't high unemployment because these people are out of the market. And, uh, you know, they were a pretty big uh, contributor to uh, the labor force. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, let me see here. Is there anything else in the news that we haven't touched on? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty. Let me look. Uh, let me look. <laughs> seems to be a little war going on. It seems yeah, to be a little war. Yeah, yeah. Um, How about those hypersonic missiles? <clears throat> you know, I mean, I'm just very, di I, I just think that we should be doing more over there than we are doing. We're, we're doing a lot, we're, but we're, what we're literally doing them with them is having them fight a war for us by proxy. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're sending them all the materials. We're sending them all the we're telling them where the boats are to sh hit with the you know, all of that. And we're really fighting a war with Russia by proxy. We didn't attack Russia and Russia attacked Ukraine. You know, all we're doing is 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 trying to stop the genocide that that's happening. But I think that how many times have we gone into some place and gone into some place because we said we're there for democracy, we're there for human rights. You know, we use that we use that as an excuse in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. We use that as an excuse in uh, in uh, uh, Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan. And yet, we're not willing to go into a country that's as peaceful as Ukraine. Uh, well, we're not mm -hmm. willing to send uh, soldiers. No, but look at what we did. Initially, we no, and, and we didn't do anything. Initially. No, what I'm saying is that with all those other countries, we were saying we were going in there for the most wonderful of reasons. We're trying to protect humanity. We're trying to protect democracy. We're trying to do this. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do that. And yet, when it comes to Ukraine, it's oh, here, here, a bunch of missiles. Go lob them at somebody. Didn't we learn that that doesn't work? And no, do I, I, people? it didn't. It didn't work because the reasons we gave didn't exist. Right. Okay. Well, and, but in this case, this is genocide, Phil. Yes, but we we didn't go in uh, 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 to Rwanda when there was genocide. We didn't go in. We didn't, uh, we didn't go in to take Hitler down until the until the uh, they were bombing until England. The, the, yeah, until the uh, Jap Japanese got us involved in the war. Well, we used we used we excuse. used uh, uh, Pearl Harbor as an excuse to get into both wars. Well, maybe we'll okay. get another Pearl Harbor. Well, well, I mean, what happened was is that there are always stories that, that, uh, that Roosevelt knew that mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that Pearl amazing. Harbor was going to get hit, and he didn't do anything about it. In fact, the Japanese uh, diplomats left Washington the day beforehand. That should have been a big clue to him, and uh, but he didn't, uh, he didn't do anything about it because he, he realized— that he wanted to get into the war in Europe, but he couldn't get into the war in Europe unless he had a good reason, and the good reason was Pearl Harbor, okay? And then as long as we're ramping up for that, let's go get the Nazis too, you know. Oh, uh, I saw a story that I thought was interesting. It mm -hmm. wasn't a Nazi story, but I guess Bitcoin and Coinbase uh, is down, bit down, and Coinbase war, uh, warns of bankruptcy could wipe out user funds Half of value vanishes in days. Uh, crypto needs a rescue. I think we always knew that this was a scam. Well, I don't think it was a scam as much as it didn't have any basis for existence is the problem. You know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I wish I had bought crypto early and then seen it rise and then at the height bought it, it sold out and gotten a lot of money. Hey, we all wish that. Yeah. You but, know, uh, but but it's not as, it's not secure because it has it's not it's not regulated. No, Jim Browning. It's not backed by anything. Jim Browning had a friend that you had do a show 
uh, on on uh, GabNet. What was her name or his name? Her name? Uh, she she did a she did a show. Yeah. Very nice gal. She bought crypto or Bitcoin at eight hundred. I thought. And I think uh, so. Yeah. 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 So I, I wonder how she did. Uh, because she bought it at eight hundred. She's doing well. It closed today at twenty nine thousand and forty dollars. And it was up to what fifty or sixty thousand? I don't think now? she bought it at eight hundred. I don't remember. 60, that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe, when this maybe it was even out, earlier than that. The hundreds. It, it might have been even earlier than that, and I, I, you know, I poo pooed the whole thing. I never got involved. I in never it. got involved in it either. It seemed like bullshit to me. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but uh, it's bullshit that's worth a lot more. And I think you're right. I think they were valued at like fifty thousand a few months back. Yeah, and then they're, I think, doing some virtual selling of virtual homes, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. It's tough to live in a virtual home. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Miranda Janelle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Uh, 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 Miranda? Yeah, you're talking about yeah. Miranda Janelle. Yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, if she bought it at 800 good for her. I think, I think it was... 29000 today. And it was down 7.80% today. So she's still money ahead. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just that things like that, you don't... What does it produce... You see, uh, you know, when you listen to Warren Buffett, he says, I only make investments in businesses that make something, that produce something for their labor. And uh, but what does crypto produce? What, what does it generate? Well, I don't totally understand it. I don't understand, like, if I buy some crypto, how I buy it, where I buy it. And once I've got it, how do I then cash it in? Right. You get on. I think my, my I think my bank, which is Bank of America, takes crypto now. Wow! Asshole. Now Coinbase, that's that's another one. Uh, I'm I'm trying to see the article here. This is from Fortune magazine. It says uh, earnings were bad. Worse still, the crypto exchange is now warning that bankruptcy could wipe out user funds. Hmm. Coinbase. I, I, I don't know which one that that's is. That's got to be Biden's fault too, huh? Yeah, there, there's it's Trump's fault. There, there's there's a whole there's a whole bunch of these euphorium or do you I don't know think, anything about I don't, these? Think, it, I don't think it's Trump's fault or Biden's fault. By the way, it wasn't wasn't today the day for the election with Dr. Oz down in Pennsylvania. I don't know. I know that he's running and he was a couple of points ahead, but there was. 18 percent undecided he was at 22 the other this morning he was thought, at 22 I thought, the other guy was at 20. Hmm? I thought trump gave him support yeah he did uh and, yeah but the uh, trump supporters in in uh, uh in pennsylvania seem to not hmm. like the fact that he backed dr oz yeah but uh, usually the ones that didn't get his support don't mm -hmm. like the fact that he backed the other guy right. anyway, <laughs> you know, because well, I, a lot of fact, people are winning. The fact was that somebody he backed in, I can't remember where, for the governor's race in, or something, did not Kemp win. Did not in win. Georgia. Did he, not he, win. he came out against Kemp in Georgia. He came out but against he, him, but he came out for somebody somewhere else, and the guy didn't win. Was that in uh, North Dakota or? Uh, no, I think it was, I can't remember where. You may be able to get your Twitter account to go back. I never lost it. I, I got rid of it because I didn't like what they did. Yeah, uh, well, the, the, the new guy on the block is going to let Trump back on. Well, he, I'll tell you something. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not against that. I understand his reasoning. I'm not against it either. I'm, I understand his reasoning, and it's, uh, it's valid in that he believes that it was wrong to take Trump off completely, that it wouldn't have been wrong to take him off for a punitive amount of time or to uh, uh, go online and delete anything they felt was misleading. Jack okay. Dorsey agrees with that. Yeah. So who, who gives a fuck who Jack Dorsey is? You know. Well, he's still running the business. No, no, he's not, actually. Well, he's going to be. Yeah, yeah, I think he's going to be on. Well, I think uh, what he's doing is he's sucking up for a job. Is what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think no, he no, needs no. it. Uh, he got like four billion dollars. Yeah, but anyway, the fact is that that uh, that uh, uh, his reasoning, I think, is pretty good. 
Uh, and I don't want to see Trump back on Twitter. Well, uh, you, uh, uh, you know, but <clears throat> if you're going to have a, a a platform in which you say this is a freedom of speech platform, then freedom of speech is absolute. It's not qualitatively. You know, if you feel that he's doing something to arouse the people in the country to do something illegal or to start an insurrection like what happened on the 6th of, uh, of January, then I think there's every reason to take him off at least for a time and hope that he learned his lesson. You know, must, but, must said when he takes over, he'll be CEO and very few people will get kicked off. He said bots and uh, by, by you know, work against bots. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And and hate hate speech will get kicked off. Uh, well, by bots, what against... he's trying to do with the bots is to prevent Russia from doing what they did sure. in the last uh, yeah. the election one time ago. You know, uh, <laughs> he. Uh, I I think I, I don't. It, my Marjorie hates the fact that he's going to let Trump back on. It's, to begin with, Trump's probably not going to. He feels well, he has a wonderful platform truth. in in, tr in truth. Uh, what is it called? Well, truth, 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 social, social. Well, yeah. I know what he's going to do. He's he's going to do what Jack Bishop does to your show. He's going to go on uh, Twitter and he's going to say, "See what I got to say on Truth Social," <laughs> and you know. So he's 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 going to go well, after. As the, I say, I I think that. Twitter. You know, and also there's a, a belief that what uh, what he's going to do is he's going to make it a subscription service. Twitter. He, he what was said was that businesses and government agencies will have to pay a very small fee, mm -hmm. but not uh, the general public. Okay. He may he may not even he may not even get approved to buy it. There's all kinds of regulatory things. Thought he was approved. No. Uh, well, a, by, you know, stockholders a, have got to. Yeah, but it's got to go. It. It's got to go the, through. The government the, has got to approve it. It's got to go through the SEC. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of stuff. Now, there, wasn't there a big loss in Tesla stock recently uh, in the last day or so? But I think he'd already pulled the money <clears throat> out. Oh yeah. Of, of Tesla. He's not the only investor though in his purchase. Yeah. By the way, did you see the Teslas coming out with a? Uh, it's not like an SUV, but it's like a, a, a kind of a, tr a truck. But it's not yeah. like, doesn't look like a truck. It looks like a spaceship, actually. Right. And it's only going to be, uh, it's only going to be, it's only going to be $39,000. And it's going to get 500 uh, miles to the charge. That's good. Yeah, so it's 39000 but you got to pay extra if you want a battery. Yeah. Mm. But... <laughs> He, you know, what happened is, is he, it, it, it's going to be, um, uh, it, it's going to be uh, 39,000 and you get this, they say you can actually, if you can charge it for 10 minutes and it'll go 50 miles. Okay. So that's enough to get you home if you're, you know, you're stuck and it's only 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brian, do you like your Tesla? He loves it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wish I wish I would have. So my daily driver is a Cadillac TT6, mm -hmm. and I wish yeah. when she got her Tesla, I wish I would have got mine, got got one, and got rid of my Cadillac. But too late now. We, we, are going you know, crazy. there uh, I have not seen anywhere online that people don't absolutely love their Teslas. Yeah, you know. And, what do you, now you're a Cadillac man, Brian. What do you think of that new lyric that's coming out? Cadillac lyric. I want to see it. It's gorgeous yeah. in the picture. Yeah, it looks nice. I want to see it. How much is it? Do you know? No, no idea. I have, I've been looking for prices, and then I haven't seen much on it. Is that yeah. the model of a car? I'm lost. Well, the reason yeah, it's, it's a Cadillac SUV. It's well, all. Electric. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason you want a Tesla is because, among other things, Tesla has charging stations you can use for free. At work. Uh, they give you a credit, right? Uh, yeah, but car. Yeah, yeah, and at work we have a card, so it's free, but. At home, <clears throat> now we got our charger all set up. So, uh, so it is that's that, like is eight that, hours, eight hours for a full charge. So, a full just, charge is like all week. You plug like it in. Friday. You plug it in when you get home. Mm -hmm. You then go to sleep, and you wake up in the morning. It's all charged. Yeah, but you don't even have to do that. You don't have to do that every night. And how many miles will you get on that charge? 
This yeah. one's three hundred and something. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, so she she just I just charged it for her last night, hundred percent now, and that lasts her till like Monday. Yeah. One oh. one of my neighbors is rebuilding a uh, De Orion Delorean Delorean. Delorean. Yeah. Delorean. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. The, the doors don't open where the ship, but it's pretty cool. The doors don't open. Yeah, well, well you then gotta, how do you get into the to, goddamn thing? <clears throat> they're they're gold wing. They're, 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 yeah, they're like wings. They're supposed to, but it takes like about six minutes for one to open. So he's gonna, he's a mechanic and an engineer, and he's got, you know, he's retired and he wants to play with one. It's pretty <laughs> slick. There's no paint on the outside of the car. Yeah, it's, it's all uh, stainless brushed steel. aluminum. Stainless <clears throat> steel. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember Alex talking about uh, on one of his shows that he liked the De DeLorean. Uh, yeah, right. The rebate comes in the trunk. Rebate. Don't you remember DeLorean was arrested for uh, cocaine or smoking? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. He was trying to finance his company through a cocaine deal. Probably. I think it turned out though that that was all phony. The government, was a government set him setup. Up. It was a government setting setting him up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was GM making sure he didn't uh, succeed. Most horns. Well, um, eat. Um, his, his horn went toot toot. Did you see what happened to Mario Batali? No, what happened to him? Well, you remember mm -hmm. he was he was charged with, um, um, I guess, unwanted sexual advances towards a woman or something like that. Yeah, and so chef, it, right? so so it went to trial. Yeah. It yeah. went to trial. It was found not guilty. Hmm. Uh, what's going to happen with Johnny Depp? Isn't it? No, wait a know? minute. Let me finish with the oh, with okay. the Vitali. Vitali yeah. sold out his interest in Italy which is a really big outfit. They got food outfits all over the world now. Sweden. Yeah, yeah, but he sold his portion because they didn't want him to be involved with him because he had this mm -hmm. thing hanging over him. Well, now that it's been proven that he didn't do it, or at least determined he didn't do it, uh, is it shouldn't they give him back his stock or something, or shouldn't they do something to make good on that? His life was, part of his life was ruined with that. But that was his choice to sell, right? You know, I get no. Well, no, trust. they for no, they forced him to sell. Yeah, but he could have put it in the blind trust. He, he could have. Right. You know, no, no they wanted him out of there. They didn't yeah. want their brand tainted by his sexual prowess. Well, as and just because he was he was uh, found innocent doesn't mean that he really was. No, no uh, don't give me that. Does. If he was found innocent, if he's found not guilty, he was not guilty. Okay, yeah, that's that's it's, called America. Uh, yeah, don't yeah, right. don't suddenly say, well, it doesn't mean he didn't really do it. Uh, well, well, no. What's going on with this Amber Heard, uh, Johnny Depp thing? You know. Uh, well, uh, the the winner the winner of that case is going to get a gold statuette, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty good all the way around. You oh, know? you yeah. watched any of that? Talk about drama. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't sound very convincing. Well, a lot of uh, his, Johnny Depp's. Ex-wives have always has have said that he wasn't violent. He didn't do the, these kinds of actions, and that Amber well, Heard's. Uh, I, I, I don't know if she's partners. a gold digger, but you know who the boyfriend was before Johnny no. Depp. No. Elon Musk. Really? No yes. way! Really? Yes. Wow. Somebody when, told me. Yeah, you remember uh, when that drug uh, came on the market? I think it was the EpiPen. And the person that was a CEO yeah. raised the price. Yeah. Somebody told me today that the woman was Joe Manchin's daughter from the senator from West Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I need to look that up. The, but the one Democrat that voted with all the Republicans today uh, to uh, not override the, uh, the the Supreme Court thing. Well, it wasn't to override the Supreme Court thing. It was to make it a, a federal law. That oh, you man. should be allowed to have an abortion, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what. What we'll just one day we'll discuss what the fuck is with Joe Manchin, you know. No kidding. Anyway, oh, hey, listen. Uh, thank you, Phil. We always glad you stuck around because if you didn't stick around, it'd just be me and Alan for a while, and then <laughs> then, <laughs> Phil, then Jeff, and then finally Brian, who thank God he calls. Just you know? remember what Marina said. F all politicians. That's right. Everybody here, uh, why don't you give Hey, Dan. Come here. 
If, oh, make a quick hurry, appearance. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come here, say hi. If, uh, no, oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to draw together. Okay, we're going to draw, draw something for Alex, okay? Say okay. Hi. Oh, anyway, <laughs> everybody give a big wave goodbye uh -oh. and, and good night. Yeah. And thank you, Phil. <laughs> thank you, Alan. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you, Brian. And thank you, Adrian, for making an appearance. Mm. We appreciate yeah. it. Okay. God, she's gorgeous. Uh, one of these days, she's going to have to dance on the show. <laughs> yeah, she is just gorgeous. Anyway, thanks, everybody. Uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of you guys and just come over to my camera here. And let me get rid of the audio for them. And uh, let me then hang up on everybody and uh, say goodnight to them. And then Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the uh, intersection. We'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life, 1030 here on GabNet. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>